Sunglasses were used by prehistoric Inuit people more than 2,000 years ago. They would brave the Arctic elements in walrus tusk masks with very narrow slits over the eyes. This protected them from the intense glare of the sun against the snow, providing them the protection that they needed to continue effectively hunting. The Roman Emperor Nero is said to have watched gladiator matches through polished emerald lenses. And very dark glasses made of semi-precious smoky quartz were used in 12th century Chinese courts. Judges found that they could more easily hide their expressions, further making trials more impartial by concealing any leads to a potential verdict. In 1929, Sam Foster, founder of Foster Grant of Atlantic City, put sunglasses into mass production in the United States of America. He sold the first pair of Foster Grant sunglasses on the boardwalk in Atlantic City, New Jersey in 1929. By 1930, the fad spread all the way through Hollywood. Celebrities would wear them to obscure their faces from the paparazzi. This made the Foster Grant sunglasses instantly more popular. Everybody was trying to get a pair of his sunglasses if they didn't have them already. Life magazine published an article about the growing popularity of sunglasses and estimated that only around 30% of those purchased were worn to actually protect the eyes. They further confirmed this growing fashion trend. The Ray-Ban aviator sunglasses were a World War II invention. The U.S. Air Force commissioned a team of researchers to design a protective lens for fighter pilots in 1936. The pilots needed glare reduction, but would still leave their vision precise. Ray-Ban sunglasses were originally designed by the medical equipment manufacturers Bausch & Lomb and were intended to reduce sickness and headaches caused from intense hues of the sky at high altitude. Interestingly, it was not from the glare of the sun. One year later, Edwin Land founded the Polaroid company and developed the polarization process for lenses. This further helped protect pilots' eyes from dangerous UV rays. And before that time, tinted glasses just reduced the glare and amount of sunlight exposure to the eye. Ray-Ban would go on to capitalize on the UV-blocking Polaroid technology, further adding a green tint to the lens. This special dark green tint specifically helped absorb light in the yellow band of the spectrum. After the war, aviator style sunglasses instantly became culturally iconic. Fast forward to the 1960s and 70s, Foster Grant kicked up another marketing campaign, further propelling well known fashion designers and Hollywood stars to carry the torch of popularity. Thinking back through the decades, from Jackie O's iconic large sunglasses to John Lennon's little circles and Elton John's popular colors all the way to clear lens sunglasses popularized by Johnny Depp in the 1980s. Sunglasses rooted themselves deeply into pop culture. We can't forget about Elvis Presley's iconic Madison Square Garden sunglasses. Those oversized legendary modified aviators sold on eBay for $250,000. Psychology researchers at the University of Nevada theorized that men who wear sunglasses are actually more attractive to women. It's the same sense of mystery, the, the hiding of the face that invites intrigue. Researchers also hypothesize that wearing shades contributes to a feeling of anonymity that makes people less accountable in ways. Choosing the right sunglasses is an essential part of keeping your eyes healthy, though. UV rays can raise your risk of developing eye diseases such as age-related macular degeneration, cataracts, and even cancer of the eyes and eyelids. Ultraviolet light is a form of radiation. It alters cells, and UV damage is cumulative, so protection must begin early in life. These are interesting things with JC.